a lot of you guys have been asking questions like which laptop should I buy or which gaming laptop should I buy? Well, we know buying a laptop can be a tough decision because of the number of options out there. But don't worry, we are here to help you out. That's right, if you're wondering which is the best laptop for you, well, we have you covered. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bwam.com and today we are taking a look at the best laptops you can buy right now. And no, this isn't your best laptop's usual list. Instead, we are dividing this into four categories. The best laptops for casual use, for professional use, for heavy use and well, obviously the best gaming laptops. Before we start, I think you should hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post awesome new videos. Also, this video has been sponsored by Wondershare Photofire, a photo editing software for Windows that lets you perfect your photos in just a few clicks. Now then, let's get started. You must be thinking who exactly is this casual user? I mean, anybody who uses the laptops to do some word processing, watch some videos, just surf the web, you know, all the lightweight stuff is a casual user. And there are three things that are really important when you consider a laptop for a casual user. Firstly, the laptop should have decent storage so that you can store all the media with ease. Secondly, the laptop shouldn't get outdated in two to three years. And thirdly, the laptop should be moderately priced. I think under 35,000 is a good enough price bracket for laptops for casual users. Now here are the best laptops in this price range. My first recommendation is the Acer E5575 laptop, which features a 15.6 inch display, Intel's seventh generation Core i5 chipset, has eight gigs of RAM and one TB of HDD storage. This is one laptop that really brings great specs for the price. Another thing I like about the Acer laptop is the fact that it features a USB-C port, which is great since USB-C is becoming the standard in smartphones too. Another great laptop in this price bracket is Dell's Vostro 3468 laptop, which again brings some great value for its price. On the specs front, it has a 1TB HDD, the 7th gen Intel Core i3 processor, 4GB of RAM and a 14.4 inch screen. Plus, it brings a fingerprint scanner, which is very rare in this price range. I mean, you cannot go wrong with the Vostro 3468 at Rs 27,000. Lastly, you can also check out the Lenovo Yoga 510, which brings you the touchscreen experience thanks to its convertible 2-in-1 design. The display here is a 14-inch Full HD panel, which is amazing, especially since most laptops in this price range have a 1366 x 768 display. Also, since it's a convertible laptop, you can use it as a traditional laptop or just flip it for a tablet experience. Other specs of the laptop include a 1TB HDD Core i3 6th generation, which does seem a bit old, and 4GB of RAM. Next up are the best laptops for professional use. These laptops are for people who work long hours on the laptop. I mean, this is my use case because I use my laptop extensively for almost 10 hours every day. And there are three things that really matter the most in this scenario. First is the performance because I won't be productive unless my laptop is fast and really takes multiple tasks at once. Second is the battery life because I want to be able to use my laptop on the go without having to worry about plugging it in. Third is portability because I should be able to just pick it up and start using it anywhere I want. Now, for this use case, the MacBook Air is one of the best laptops. Apple might have stopped bringing a fresh MacBook Air every year, but it's still a very capable laptop. Firstly, the battery life on the MacBook Air is amazing, as it easily lasts for around 8 hours. Then it's one of the most portable laptops out there. I mean, just look at it. It's so slim and light. Plus, it performs really well, even if it's the base version we're talking about. The MacBook Air is available at a starting price of around Rs 55,000, which makes it a great deal. Also, you can always go for the higher-end versions if you want more storage. Another great laptop for professional use is the latest HP Envy laptop, which looks beautiful. Low bezels and that aluminium body look gorgeous. Plus, it's so thin and lightweight. It's also very, very powerful, with the latest 8th generation Core i5 chipset powering it. The Envy is another laptop that should easily last you from 8 to 10 hours. And since there is fast charging support, you should be able to charge it up quickly too. I personally have been using the previous generation Envy and I have no complaints around it. The battery life, the performance, it's just great. Plus I like the inclusion of the fingerprint scanner. 
with prices starting at Rs 68,000. The NV is another great laptop for professional use. Lastly, I would recommend you the latest iteration of the ASUS ZenBook, which is a pricier offering at Rs 78,000. But it not only brings great specs, a beautiful lightweight design, a stunning bezel-less display, but it also packs in NVIDIA's MX150 graphics card, which makes it even more powerful than the NV and the MacBook Air. And it has the latest 8th generation Intel Core i5 processor. So what's not to like? So who exactly is a heavy user? Well, if you're someone who does 4K video editing on your laptop, or you're someone who does heavy photo editing on your laptop, or you're someone who uses software that's extensive on the resources, well, you sir are a heavy user. Honestly, I would recommend you to go with a custom built PC for this, but there are laptops that can handle these use cases. My first recommendation is Apple's MacBook Pro. I mean, it's pretty portable, it's powerful and it looks great. Yes, that display is stunning. We personally use the MacBook Pro with the touch bar to edit our 4K videos and it handles things pretty efficiently. I mean, we use Final Cut Pro on our MacBook Pro and it works pretty well. Also, that beautiful large trackpad makes things a lot easier. But if you think you'll be using the laptop for even more extensive software, you can go with the 15-inch MacBook Pro which has a dedicated GPU. I mean, that thing should serve you pretty well. The next best laptop for heavy usage is Dell's XPS 15. First of all, the XPS 15 is a beauty, but it's not just about the looks. This thing's a beast too. There are various variants of the XPS 15, but for heavy usage, I'd recommend you to go with the XPS 15, which packs NVIDIA's GeForce 1050 GTX graphics card, which should handle video editing, be it 4K or 1080p, like a boss. In fact, it should handle almost anything like a boss, even games. Lastly, we have the Surface Book 2, which I know is not available in India, but I could not help but talk about it because this is another beauty with some beastly specs. The Surface Book 2 is available with graphics up to GTX 1060 and offers battery life up to 17 hours. Yes, I'm not kidding, 17 hours. I sincerely hope Microsoft brings this to India. I know it's very pricey, but it should be worth it. Well, I'm not really a gamer, but there are a lot of gamers in our office and according to them, the best gaming laptop should have enough power to run almost every AAA title out there. Plus, they should have good design, good keyboards with enough travel and great displays. With these in mind, these are the best gaming laptops you can buy right now. Let's start off with the best affordable gaming laptop, shall we? The ASUS VivoBook isn't the laptop gamers would rave about, but at this price, this is the gaming laptop you can get. It features NVIDIA's 940MX graphics card, which should be able to handle almost all the games out there with mid to low settings. I know, laptops with 150MX graphics are supposed to be some great cheap gaming laptops, but there aren't any 150MX laptops in India right now at this price that we could recommend. If you can bump up your budget, you can get the Acer Nitro 5, which at 70K is a pretty decent gaming laptop. I mean, it features NVIDIA's 1050 Ti graphics card, which should be able to handle all AAA titles at medium to high settings, which is saying something. Plus, it comes with Asus Cool Boost technology, which makes sure that the laptop doesn't heat up that much when you're playing extensive games. Another great laptop that we have even recommended in our past videos is Acer Predator Helios 300. Yes, that's a long, long name. The laptop is usually priced at Rs 99,000, but every now and then there's a huge discount which just makes this laptop a great deal. It features NVIDIA's 1050 Ti graphics, which as I mentioned in the previous laptop, should be great for most games. But another sweet thing about the laptop is the 128GB SSD, along with the 1TB HDD, which makes up for some really fast in-game loading. Coming to the best gaming laptop, there are a lot of options, but honestly, the Alienware 17 R4 is just a beast. It just packs in so much of raw power, Firstly, it has a display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440. Then it features Nvidia's heavyweight GPU, that is the GTX 1080. Other specs include 16 gigs of RAM, 512 GB of SSD plus 1 TB of HDD storage. Well, this laptop should not have any problems with any AAA titles at high settings. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsor. The Wondershare Photofire is a feature-rich photo editing software for Windows. First of all, it packs in more than 200 highly detailed effects to really lighten up your photos. 
Plus it packs some great tools. There's Photo Cutter that lets you replace or remove backgrounds in photos. Photo Eraser to remove unwanted objects in a photo. And a lot more. PhotoFire is available for a yearly subscription of $89.99, but don't worry, it's available in a free trial too, which you can get from the link in the description below. Well, those are the best laptops you can buy right now. You'll find the links to all of them in the description down below. So how do you like this video? Would you like us to do more videos like this one? Tell us in the comments down below. Also give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. And lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.